When I first went to Darpana, I was surprised to find it so quiet. Later I was told, Darpana sleeps in the afternoons. The founder of Darpana Academy, a celebrated dancer, a path-breaking choreographer, a pioneer, a legend. <laughs> but the story of Mrinalini Sarabhai doesn't begin at Darpana or in Ahmedabad. It begins in Madras where she was born in 1919 in a Keralaite family. The fourth and youngest child of a brilliant lawyer, Dr. Swaminathan and his young wife, Amu. Her mother joined the freedom movement in response to Gandhiji's call and went on to become the president of the All India Women's Conference. But it was her father that Mrinalini was closer to. She was his absolute favourite, his darling child. They say Mrinalini Sarabhai was born to dance. No one knows from where her intense love for dance came. Perhaps it was preordained, like her deep and abiding love for Krishna. She says, the wild, wild sea on the Madras beach danced for me, as did the coconut palms of my own garden. Rhythms beat in the sound of the whispering casarinas. This was my first music, and it was my soul that danced. I think I'm a rebel in the sense that not many people took to dancing as I did even in South India. I think that people expected me to be a little different. They didn't see the intensity of my work when I was small. And uh, I followed that um, feeling that I was a dancer from my last life. Otherwise, how could I have known when I was so small, not that I will be a dancer, that I, I am a dancer. Today, it's hard to imagine a time when Bharatanatyam was considered immoral and vulgar, when it was restricted only to the Devadasis or the dancing girls. 
when it was thought unsuitable for girls from good families it was in such times that she chose to take up dance she went in search of gurus who could respect and match her passion for learning fighting the frailness of her own body she practiced for hours and hours day after day mastering the pandanallu style of bharatanatyam a strong straight and rigorous style i never prayed shiva or i never this did puja so it was of course at the beginning it was just coping the things and try to come close now after 3 years i feel much more closer to this because i visit temples i talk to people so it's more part of my culture also there's a book by tabiani and there was a picture of a uh, different bharatanatyam dancer and with full jewelry and doll and i was looking this picture and say mm, it's beautiful but i feel like how can i connect to this i'm used to dance with no makeup very simple dress and all and there was a picture of amma very simple but strong bhava and not much makeup not much flowers and all and uh, i didn't know who is this i say okay mina is very no very famous but i never seen her dance i never seen anything pardesiya <laughs> In 1942 she got married to Vikram Sarabhai and moved to Gujarat. It was a different land, quite strange and unfamiliar, where people had barely heard about the South Indian dance forms of Bharatanatyam and Kathakali. And where people couldn't accept the fact that a daughter-in-law of the famous Sarabhai family could be a dancer, a nartaki. Everyone said and please don't repeat this he has brought a dasi from madras and people were curious and wherever it was i would dance i would dance anywhere anybody asked because i wanted to show them to me dance is sacred it is divine and slowly one little child came two little children came more children came and we said we want to be like her it is said that pranarani sarabhai brought the sound of ghungrus to gujarat that she did for the north what the great rukmini arundel had done for the south she brought respectability and indeed prestige to both dance and the dancer through the beauty and power of her work of course i married an extraordinary man and i think that was the real reason that he was as proud of my dancing almost and as dedicated as i was and being a scientist he also knew what it was to pursue a dream in fact very often when i was feeling very despondent and thought what's the point of going on dancing and not really being appreciated here he would say no you go ahead and one day you will realize how much you have contributed by your love for dance by your dancing by your art it was hard in the beginning here if i danced i was either a swaminathan or a sarabhai and still that fame of the families people would say what is it for her she is a swaminathan and this i had to get rid of for myself and so when i was invited to france for one night i went and next morning i was what i would call f- uh, famous and since then i never looked back <laughs> 
I hated when Amma went away on tour, uh, but it never made me think that she shouldn't dance or that dancing was wrong. Or and the one thing I knew was that I didn't want to be a dancer because it was too much hard work. I wanted to be on stage, but I wanted to do something that was physically easier. I have built a noble city. I have avenged my husband, punished my brother. How happy I would have been had I never seen these Trojan ships at my shore. What started in the 1950s as a little one-room, two-student school grew into a full-fledged academy. By 1990, there were 700 students at Darpana learning Bharatanatyam, Kathakali, Kuchipidi, Mohiniyattam, folk dances, classical music, drama and puppetry. I think it's come a very long way from where Amma started it. Till now, Darpana had been organized on the lines of a teaching institution, which had performing groups. For me, teaching was no longer relevant. And that for me, it had to be much more a crucible where performing artists who felt strongly about issues, who felt strongly about things other than art for art's sakes, could come together, could, could cohabit a thinking space, a creative space. It was in fact Amma who opened the door to the spate of new creative work in India with her strong and innovative choreographies. I think it was only when I went to Rabindranath Tagore's institution in Shantaniketan and met the poet. He was old at that time. I said I was a dancer the next day. He gave me a leading role in his uh, dance drama and said, you create. And that's where I think as a choreographer, I started to blossom of creating my own work, which is what I always wanted to do. It actually began with a newspaper article about dowry debts in Saurashtra. As a writer would write, or a painter would paint, as a dancer, she danced to express her anguish. She created a piece called Memory, with no words, only the swaras of Carnatic music and the bowl of Bharatanatyam. It was not about love and longing, gods and demons, myths and legends. It was not like any Bharatanatyam piece ever composed before. It was a story of a young woman who was tortured by her in-laws for dowry and driven to commit suicide. Rinalini Sarabhai was perhaps the first to use classical dance as a medium of self-expression and of communication, as a reaction, a question, a protest, a cry. And as if 
like an echo of memory reverberating in darpana three young women came together once again to cry out in protest I feel more confident of myself instead of depending on other people. I found that one. Like I improved that way. I already got married and I have son, six-year-old son. I'm not with my husband now. I'm living my own life. Like uh, I'm taking care of my family. Like my father is no more, so I'm taking care of my mother. We are always giving message to other people. So I just wanted to know that uh, I I want to know myself like how much I improved. Hi. I want to be a good dancer like all the form first of all because I learn in this institution my body is like uh, more capable for everything like if I am doing something contemporary work my body works there and if I want working with amma or for bharatanatyam my body I can control my body like which way I want to do I enjoy so much while dancing I am so happy to dance like sometimes I go crazy like it's amazing gift like God has given and I can do little bit. we are in the midst of riots so we think of violence what can we do against violence and i think art can speak in a much louder tone because it speaks through beauty it just reflects society and according to us darpana is a reflection of society of the world and the universe around us No, Krishna, you didn't come to Gujarat. You didn't help us this time, did you? Did you? That is a Sanskrit sloka written long ago. What about today? What about your people today? What about your children today? Krishna, if you can't come, send another Gandhi ji. Don't shoot him. Nineteen seventy-nine. Me. वहाँ पे लकी स्टूडियो है हमारे हालोल में तीन किलोमीटर दूर वहाँ पे बहुत शूटिंग चलता है गुजराती फिल्मों का ऐसा और मुझे बचपन से ही बहुत नृत्य करने का बहुत शौक था डांस करने के लिए ऐसा 
इतने में मलिका जी और किरण कुमार आए शूटिंग के लिए उन्होंने मुझे एक एड्रेस लिख के दिया दर्पण एकेडमी का अहमदाबाद का यहाँ पे आया तो इतना बड़ा बंगला देखा तो दर्पण एकेडमी देखा बड़ी बड़ी चीजें सब मुझे तो पहली बार ही मैं सिटी में आया ऐसा फिर पिताजी को तो सब चीज देखा ना तो बोले कि इधर का तो इधर अपनी जगह नहीं है भरत हमारा और ये तो बहुत जमीन आसमान का फर्क है हमारा ये लेवल ही नहीं है कि हम लोग इधर पहुंच सकते हैं फिर पिताजी से वही टाइम पे मैंने बोला ऐसा क्यों सोच रहे हो पिताजी हम भी हमारे अंदर से हम लोग भी ऐसे ही है ऐसा सोचने हम लोग सब एक है ऐसा मत सोचना अच्छा गुजरात में नाम मिला है और मैं मैं अभी मेरे पंचमहल गांव के लिए मैं बहुत कुछ करने के लिए मुझे वो है इसलिए बहुत सारे सारे नए नए ऐसे आइडिया आते हैं माँ को जाके बोलता हूँ मलिका जी को बोलता हूँ और मलिका जी इतने हेल्प करते कि बहुत खुशी की बात है कि तुम एक ट्राइबल है तू और तू जाके तेरे गाँव में ही सब कुछ करते हैं तुझे फुल सपोर्ट है क्या करना है तू जाके कर We are all in the universe. We do have a kind of feeling of repression. Sometimes we want to fly just to be free. And however much you try, there is society, there is repression of some kind, even in one's own mind. And that's why I created a piece, uh, and I call it Shadows, and Shadows across my mind. Each piece that I do comes from some thought. It's like clay, you know. You have a piece of clay, and you start molding it, and sometimes it doesn't come out the way you want it to. The clay takes hold of you, and expresses itself. Dance is also like that. It it expresses something through you that might have been hidden within, very deep within. But that's how it comes. Even after so many years, Amma remains my favorite Bharatanatyam dancer. I think she has to just raise an arm, and you see an entire universe in that arm. Rinalini Sarabhai's Meera is as much about the 15th century saint poetess as it is about you or me. Meera is every human being, she says. Two persons, the one linked with the mundane world and the other eternally immersed in the truth of her being.
It has been a life of great achievements, glorious fame, immense creativity. Mrinalini Sarabhai has created more than 50 dance dramas in her five and a half decades of choreography. What struck me was that her most powerful works are about the individual, the lone human being, rejected, isolated, alone. In her interpretation of Kalidasa's classic, the meek and docile Shakuntala stands up for herself and says, I will go on alone from now on. In Chandalika, once again there is a sense of the individual being pitted against the group, against society. this feeling of isolation is it the destiny of modern man when my father died when i was very young and i think after that i never accepted happiness as such so tragedy really was in a way the basis of my life the loneliness of the individual will come out in all my dance dramas and i think i always say that also that we come into the world alone we go out alone and one should always remember that and so to try to get strength within oneself to cope with the tragedies of life even the happiness has a tinge of sadness always True.